Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Waits. I want to go through our syllabus real quick and do a little bit of an introduction for the course. Uh, I'm going to try to make this video as fast as possible because I know nobody likes sitting through these intro videos, um, me included. So um, buckle up. We're going to go through this pretty quick. Remember, you've got the syllabus here in the course, so you can always go back and take a look at things. I'm only here to highlight the top pieces. Right away, I want to talk real quick about this course. You are going to need uh, Visual Studio, and uh, this very first part is talking about that. So make sure you kind of read some of this um, portion about the welcome, so that way you understand what you're going to need in Visual Studio and computer. Uh, my name is Michael Waits, as I've already introduced myself. I want to let you know that the easiest and best way to get a hold of me is via email or messages through my courses. I do have a phone number, but it rings to a phone that's located in an office that I don't ever really go into. Um, like you, uh, I have uh, a lot going on in my world. Um, I am a full-time software developer manager. Uh, at a local firm here in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's kind of my day job uh, while I adjunct uh, a lot in the evening. So like I said, the best way to get a hold of me is via email. If you do need to get with me um, in some kind of uh, office location, um, well, I will tell you right now that's pretty much impossible since uh, most of the campuses are shutting down due to the coronavirus. Uh, but we can do other things. We can do uh, a Teams meeting. We could do a Zoom meeting. We have all other kind of capabilities. So if you need uh, to get a hold of me and maybe uh, you need some help with some assignment, just let me know. We'll get something set up. All right, real quick. This is my academic department. These are the people that if you uh, need to uh, talk to in regards to the course and uh, wish to talk to someone above me, uh, this is definitely the people that you'd want to talk to. I'm not going to go through the course information. Take some time to read through that. Uh, that's definitely uh, all the things we're going to cover. What I will tell you is please understand that this is a 16-week course that is put into an 8-week course. So do expect that there's going to be a lot of work per week and you have to get it done. If you start to fall behind, uh, you will find yourself uh, rather stressed. If for any reason you need learner support, this is that section you need to look at in regards to uh, who to contact and all the people that are important uh, in that regards. Um, and same thing, another thing I want to point out is, as you can see in my syllabus, I put important dates as links, and that is really important right now with the coronavirus and everything that's going on with that. Dates are changing. Uh, they are pushing back some dates, moving some dates up. So you need to keep, um, and I would even bookmark some of these calendars because it's going to be important, especially if you have financial aid deadlines. Uh, it, any of those things could change now uh, with what's going on. Attendance, very simple. There is a form uh, that you need to, um, let me go back here, in the, I believe it is in the begin here. This introduction right here. Make sure you do it. If you don't, um, then I will have to put you in as absent and more than likely you'll get withdrawn. We don't want that, so please make sure you do that post. All right. Back to the syllabus. The attendance, that's how I do the uh, first two-week attendance is that form. Uh, the uh, halfway point, the 50-60% point where I have to do attendance again, basically I look to see if you are um, working on assignments, you're getting things turned in, if you're participating uh, to a, a, a decent standard, um, which kind of we look at as 50% or more, um, I'd like to see obviously more than that, um, then I'll at the 50-60% uh, uh, marks uh, put you as present. If you're not, I'll reach out to you and try to discuss things. Um, but eventually, if I have to mark you as not uh, being in attendance, again, you'll end up getting withdrawn. All right, collaboration rule. This is a little bit on the important side. So let me go ahead and uh, circle this. So that way you take a moment to take a look at it. Uh, this is a programming course. And so oftentimes you will be required to look things up, get some help, and that's all fine and good. Make sure what you're turning in is your work though. If you are using something that you found uh, out there in the world 
Google, what have you, make sure you cite it because it's important. We do use Turnitin to turn in our assignments and Turnitin also has quite a repository of code um, to let me know if um, it possibly came from a website. Your expectations are pretty simple. Make sure you're logging in, make sure you're doing your quizzes, make sure you're doing your assignments. Uh, quizzes and discussion posts uh, do not have a uh, late turn in. They are due when they're due. And so make sure you get those done on time. Uh, the assignments themselves do have a two day late grace period with 10% per day off. Uh, try not to use that for the fact that, again, you're losing points just because uh, you were late. Um, and I will tell you, unless you've reached out to me ahead of time to discuss why you might need to turn something in later than that, um, or you have a documented em uh, emergency, I do not take work that is truly late. So if you miss the, the, uh, the grace period deadline, um, I won't take it. And that's just because for all the students that really do uh, work hard to get their assignments in, it's, uh, it, it makes that less important if I just take late work all the time. For me, I have expectations as well. I will respond to your emails within 24 hours. I will do meaningful activities to help develop your skills. And uh, if you've got questions or concerns, please feel, re uh, feel free to reach out to me. I will definitely uh, work with you to um, get those understandings. Um, it is uh, my responsibility to make sure that I'm grading your coursework in a timely manner. What that usually means is I try to get it done one or two days uh, after the assignment is due. Uh, for the quizzes, uh, most of those are auto-graded. For the discussion uh, posts, I try to get to those within 48 hours of it being due. Remember, the assignments do have a late uh, period, a grace period, so I don't usually tend to do the final grading of those until after that grace period. So the fact that the grace period kind of ends on Tuesday, you should expect to see uh, final grades for each assignment by th end of day Thursday. All right. One thing I want to, no, actually, I'll get to that here in a moment. Let's go and take a look. When you are doing your discussions, remember that this is a professional uh, a college course. And just like we would expect you in the professional world, there is um, uh, a code of conduct and um, an etiquette that you should have when talking to people, talking to uh, your colleagues. And so kind of make sure that... Uh, you understand what that professionalism is. Student survey of instruction. At the Towards the end of this course, I am going to beg, plead, and um, really uh, stay on top of everyone to do the student survey of instruction. I always tell everyone that I've been grading you all this time. Now it's your turn to grade me. I do take these uh, uh, this SSI to heart it is what makes me a better instructor and it's really important for me so please help me out make sure you do the SSI towards the end all right last thing about this syllabus and I cannot stress this more let me right here time commitment again 16 week course shoved into eight weeks if you're not doing around 12 hours or more a week, you will suffer. You will get behind. Um, you'll get frustrated. You will have a, a lot of issues. I'm telling you, uh, just carve out time in your week. Make sure you're putting time to this course. You, you're going to need to do it. Um, there's a lot of assignments that are, are required. Let's flip over real quick to this one last page that I have. And um, what I want to do is tell you a little bit about some ways to be successful in this course. Make sure when you're doing your assignments, um, a lot of the assignments you can search and find the uh, solution in the textbook solutions. Um, and you'll be wanting to copy and paste. Do not do that. And the reason being is you're not going to get good at developing in C Sharp unless you're actually using it. You're going to have typos. You're going to have these minor coding issues, missing semicolon, little things like that, that until you've done it 10 times, you're not going to learn not to do it. So it's really important that you type out your code, even if you're typing it letter by letter from, from a solution or a, um, a tutorial. It's still worth it. It's going to help you find those and uh, correct those tiny little mistakes. Uh, when you are looking for files in the textbook files, 
uh, do a search if you can't find the file. There's a lot of files in there, and sometimes they're not placed where you think they would be. So just do a search on the entire folder. You'll probably be better off looking at it that way. So we talked about earlier the late policy. Let me tell you about the early policy. Um, one of the things I really strive to do as your instructor is if you're turning items in early, I really try hard to look at those items and see if there's substantial errors. If there are, I then tell you about it and you have the opportunity to fix them and turn them in without any penalty. So again, it's one of those things that I'm always trying to do. Uh, most of the time I'm pretty uh, good about getting to that and doing that. So it really does behoove you to turn things in early if you can. Last module. The due date is not the normal date. Normally your weeks go from Monday to Sunday and everything's due midnight by Sunday with the uh, late grace period being Tuesday midnight. Uh, not the last week. Unfortunately, I have to turn in grades on Friday. So that means I have to make everything due that week on Thursday. So your week for that is Monday through Thursday. And there is no late grace periods that week because, again, I got to get those grades in. Some people in this class are going to probably already be uh, in the development field. Um, that's okay, or when you want to download, you might go, you know what, I wanna use the most modern Visual Studio as possible, that's fine. I will tell you this class was designed for Windows 10 and Visual Studio 2015. With that being said, you can use all the more modern, the instructions on how to do things might be slightly different and it'll be on you to figure those steps out and uh, it may require some more steps might take less steps it, it really depends um, but um, but it should be pretty similar similar so if you want to go about doing that that's fine um, on the homework assignments make sure you take screenshots put them into one word document some of the homeworks will ask you to uh, copy and paste your code into the Word document. Some won't. Um, some will ask you to upload a zip file with your project. Make sure you're reading what is due for that course and what are the deliverables when you turn in. So that way you're not missing something uh, and get marked off. Final note, the random number file writer. This is a challenging assignment. When you get to it, just be prepared to put in some extra time on this one. Uh, the book doesn't cover it really well. You're going to have some questions. Make sure you shoot some questions over to me. Um, and that kind of finally brings me to that last piece to remind everyone, if you got questions, email me or message me. The sooner the better. If you send me a question a Sunday at 10 p.m., more than likely I'm not going to get an answer it before your due date. So make sure you are getting some time on these projects as soon as possible. I hope everyone has a great semester. And coming up, I'll have some additional videos uh, going over some of the homeworks. Uh, keep in mind on that. But this is an online course, and so um, a lot of the materials are already there for you. Thanks, and have a great day.